K17 is a 60-year-old with acute onset right frontal soft tissue swelling. Here you see some CT images through the level of the frontal sinuses. Here you see some additional images, uh, bone window images from a little bit lower. Here you see just a sagittal image through the region of the abnormality. So that's the last image that we have. So we want to go ahead and think about what your diagnosis is. Your question one is what is the most likely diagnosis? And question two is what additional test may be useful to further evaluate this patient? You want to do a CT angiogram, a bone scan, an MRI, or a PET CT of the whole body. For this case, we're looking at a case of POTS puffy tumor, which is an aggressive sinusitis and osteomyelitis. This is a non-neoplastic complication of acute sinusitis, where you get osteomyelitis and bone destruction. Typically, you get a subperiosteal abscess where the osteomyelitis is eroding through the anterior wall of the frontal sinus. You can also have this in the mastoids, but a typical location that you'll see classically is in the frontal sinus. Now, the complications are important and that's intracranial extension, uh, meningitis, and dural sinus thrombosis. That's really going to lead you to the answer uh, to what your follow-up exam is going to be, which is going to be to get an MRI. Now, your differential in this case is uh, there are some things to consider. You have to consider whether it could be lymphoma. A mucus seal you'll often see, but it will be much more uh, smooth remodeling of the bone there. Typically, you don't have all of that uh, kind of bone destruction. Granulomatous disease uh, with polyangitis, uh, this was formerly known as Wegener's disease, can kind of have this. You can particularly see this with involvement of the nasal cavity and maxillary sinuses. A sinus malignancy can particularly, uh, can sometimes appear like this as well. Um, metastasis also. Typically, these patients are going to have other signs of infection, so they'll have redness, they'll have fever and pain. Uh, now, here you see the images there. Now, you see this is the, you see one frontal sinus on the left which is relatively normal, and the right frontal sinus is completely opacified. And then you have this kind of soft tissue uh, mass coming out from the anterior portion of the frontal sinus. On the sagittal images, you see the same thing. You see this kind of puffy mass coming out here, which is why it's called a puffy tumor, uh, even though it's not really a malignancy. Now you have another clue here is the patient has pretty bad sinusitis of the maxillary uh, sinus here with some uh, neo-osteogenesis and new bone formation there. So you know this patient is a patient who's had chronic sinusitis. You just see some arrows on those abnormalities. Uh, the additional test that's probably going to be useful, we talked about this a little bit just a second ago, but it's really an MRI because you want to look for intracranial involvement in those intracranial complications like epidural abscess uh, or sinus thrombosis. Uh, so you need to look for those complications. Now, some of these other tests may have their usefulness as well. Uh, particularly if you think this might be a malignancy, then a whole body PET might be useful. A bone scan is not likely to be that useful. Uh, we know this is not a vascular malformation.